Hey, this is Jimmy. Who is this? Uh, yes, hello. This is Prince Charles. <laughs> no. <laughs> the the Prince of Wales? Yes, that's the one. Well, hello, Mister. Uh, your princessness. How do I don't know how I how do I dress you? Oh, we can dispense with such formalities. After all, I represent the next generation of royals. It is the twenty first century, after all. <laughs> you can simply call me Prince Charles. Okay, Prince Charles, how you doing? Why, I am simply jubilant, my dear boy. <laughs> jubilant being the proper emotion when looking forward to the Queen's Jubilee. Jubilee? Jubilee, yes, mm, quite, yes. You see, this year, my mother, <laughs> Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain yes. and Northern Ireland, <laughs> celebrates 70 years on the throne. Well, not literally. She gets up and walks about from time to time. But you know what I mean. Yes. That is easily the longest reign of any British monarch. The shortest reign was of a bloke named King Alfred long ago. He was crowned and then not 30 seconds later had his head lopped off by a Viking. Poor chap. I see. Luckily, we live in much more civilized times, we royals. As a member of the royal family next in line to the throne, I might add, I must say how proud we are of Mum for staying alive and puttering about and waving. <laughs> Truly an inspiration to the entire British Commonwealth. Are people excited about this jubilee? Oh, good Lord, yes. No. People are all about putting up the traditional no. celebratory bunting. Of course, and looking forward to the lighting Bunting. of beacons and the trooping of color. Bunting. The trooping of color? <laughs> uh, yes, the trooping of color. The military parade in honor of Mum's birthday. Oh, we spare no expense. The people just adore it. <laughs> all the spending. <laughs> And of course, all the rest, you know, the traditional spiffing of the logues, the cran hafting of the hairpennies, <laughs> the cornwalling of the Flemish hair, what? and of course, rhubarb and gizzard pudding for all the good children. <laughs> you know, the old Jubilee set of traditions. Of course, I'm well aware. Oh, and all the young people are looking forward to the platinum concert in Mum's honor. Featuring all the pop music acts that the youth go crazy for these days. Diana Ross. <laughs> Elton John. The Rod Stewart. <laughs> Andrew Floyd Weber. <laughs> and a version of the band Queen without Freddie Mercury. <laughs> I'm sure your 97-year-old mother will just love it. Oh, she won't be there. Wait, will she be at any of these events? It's difficult to say. No one really knows. But you're her son and the Prince of Wales. Yes, quite indeed. But surprisingly, <laughs> that affords me very little, if any, insight into the comings and goings of Her Royal Majesty. To tell you the truth, I'm not even sure she's still alive. <laughs> if I'm actually king, they're going to want to put that off for as long as they can, believe you me. We have not had good luck with King Charles's in the past, to say the least. One of them got their head lopped off as well. Anyway, we just sort of go where we're told and putter about and give pithy speeches. Where, where will you be going? I'm not quite sure. Wales, <laughs> I presume. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps Scotland. I get those two confused quite often. Will your brother be in attendance? Prince Edward, yes, he will No, be... no, the other one. Who? Prince Andrew. Oh, him. Mm. Mm. <laughs> His presence will be mitigated, I'm rather sure. Ever since we found out that he has always shameful dalliances with teen floozies in Bermuda or whatever it was. Mum wants to keep him at his arm's length. They weren't dalliances with floozies. Those were teenagers who were being sex trafficked. Oh dear, that's even worse than I thought. <laughs> yeah. He was always a bit of a nasty bugger. Yeah, a lot of nasty buggers. 
from your Nazi th sympathizer uncle, your racist father, to your sex criminal brother seems like a lot of them in the House of Windsor. Yes, well, you can't choose your family, as they say. The nation cannot choose its own royal family either. Yeah. That was imposed upon them against their will almost 1,000 years ago here in England. You know, all this Jubilee talk, is, is the royal family even a relevant institution anymore? Or, I mean, what purpose do you really serve? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, <laughs> boss, you must be joking. <laughs> we are beloved by our people. Mm -hmm. We serve as a great symbol of the British people and commonwealth. Our ancient monarchy, nation, and traditions, they cannot be separated. But what do you do? You, you specifically. Oh, you know. <laughs> promote homeopathy. <laughs> Indulge my passing interest in architecture by giving short talks at old buildings. <laughs> <laughs> when I am king, I look forward to knighting Harry Styles. Yeah. And the people love me for it. <laughs> 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 and what else will you do as king? I haven't given him much thought. <laughs> be a symbol for sure. Uh, see if I can beat 70 years on the throne. My homeopathic doctor assures me this is possible as long as I continue to ingest fake medicine. <laughs> but we'll see this old bird may have a few more decades left in her yet. Well, congrats to your mum. I hope you all have fun, and I hope you enjoy being in the waning years of an antiquated, useless institution. I will indeed. Thank you, good sir. Well, I must go. I've just been informed I am to attend a poffing of the Daltrey ceremony <laughs> in Flapping, I'm sure. Do enjoy living in your uh, republic or what have you. Yeah, <laughs> Here we're doing stand-up comedy in Irvine, California, Las Vegas, San Diego, Salt Lake City, Indianapolis, Louisville, all over the place. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. <laughs>